the supernatural. Are you a believer? I suppose I don't know what I believe in. You're not alone, are you? There's something there with you, isn't there? What is it? I like the idea of, of, of approaching a story about the, the supernatural from um, a scientific point of view. I, you know, I like the idea of, uh, of, of the character of Copeland, of, of uh, someone who had, you had very contradictory feelings about the character as you read the story, and that you weren't sure whether he was, was he a charlatan? Um, was he just uh, using this girl for his own purposes? Did he have really a serious intent in finding a cure for her at all? Or was it just some experiment that he was going to keep extending indefinitely and he was going to sort of play with her like a kind of a lab rat? And, um, and there was much more of that, that kind of element uh, uh, in the script, which is that you, you, it, you, it really put you in the position of you weren't sure how you felt about these people from going along with the experiment. Because um, there's a point in the script where he says, to, to, to Sam's character, you know, I'm sure this seems sadistic to you, but, in, but it is part of a sort of greater plan, a greater purpose, and we will cure her in the end. But there was that question in people's mind as you, you were watching what he was doing, is you, it, it was sadistic, and it did seem as though you, you weren't sure whether that was all he was trying to do, or was he really... Uh, trying to get an effect, and there was a sort of period in the, of the story in the first part where you 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 confuse the audience in that way, on purpose. What is it that drives his passion in the field of research? What's driving him? Well, um, he has modest ambitions. He just wants to disprove the existence of God, basically. Um, if he can disprove that the supernatural is. Uh, uh, inspired by any divine agency and that the supernatural is inspired purely from human agency then he can start to dismantle the whole concept of there being a god in the first place which is that whole idea would say so there's conflict between science and religion and that the um the scientific method constantly comes up against um, religious dogma and religious thought if you like and um that there's a sort of a there's a frustration within the scientific world that um, you know their their rational approach can be um, undermined at a moment's notice by um, a religious practice and, and superstition. So um, yeah, but his his goal basically is is to disprove the existence of God, and I suppose he's a, in that sense a classic megalomaniac or egotist. He, he wants to, he's playing God himself. Yeah. David Q, one of my first patients, was a perfectly normal 12-year-old boy. One day that all changed. Who are you drawing, David? Mina. Tell me again, for the camera. Mr. Gregor. The man that makes things happen. <laughs> 